Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tiny Blue Games. My name, of course, is Seesaw Chris, and today we're talking about Final Fantasy XIV in 2019, and specifically, we're talking about Shadowbringers, the newest expansion, and why I've decided now was a good time to purchase Final Fantasy XIV. So, for those of you who don't know, I am a relatively new player. I've been playing for about two months now, um, and I've been playing the free trial and making videos about it and really just taking my time leveling. I, I've, I've been quite a slow leveler. A lot of the people on this channel will tell you I'm overly slow, uh, but it's been, it's in my opinion, one of the most exciting parts of an MMO where you start learning about it and start getting into the systems and the lore and slowly feel like you belong in the community. And, you know, I, I've gotten to the point now where I'm like, hey, I want to fully invest in this game and buy the expansion and buy, you know, the, the subscription. So I did. And this video is kind of explaining why. Now, this video is not a review of the expansion and, you know, whether or not the expansion itself is worth it. Because, let's be honest, for two days or, you know, a few days into the expansion, no one's going to have a valid review for you. In, it's an MMO expansion. It's going to take months, if not years, to get, like, you know, was this expansion a good idea? Was it, did it hit the mark? It, it's so hard to say. And another point to that, I'm a noob at this game. I wouldn't even be able to tell you if it was a good expansion. I, I'm not at that point to really make those kind of decisive decisions. Decisive decisions, what a fun little sense that was. <laughs> I, this video is going to be kind of rambly, and I do apologize for it. It's just me randomly thinking of stuff that I want to say about this expansion and about why I decided to buy things. I'm, I'm someone who gets buyer's remorse a lot, and I feel like if I make a video explaining my buying decision to my future self, maybe that'll help me, but who knows. Uh, but yeah, so we decided to buy the game, and here we are. <laughs> so wh why did I feel like I should invest in this game? Well, that's that's a good question, and I can't answer that. Um, the biggest one, and I've already made a video about this, is that, hey, this this is probably one of the best MMO communities I've ever been a part of. It, it's so welcoming, and as a new player, they've, they've got so many new players coming to the game right now that you'll find a lot of people in starting zones that are just actively trying to help people, actively trying to recruit people for their free companies, and support new players as they try to learn the game. And it's, it's a really exciting thing to see in MMOs because so many MMOs these days that are old that you know have been around forever when a new player joins your group when a new player is you know with you in the same objective it's like ugh, why and that's not you know it should it should be like hooray there's new people coming to this game that I love because a game is really as good as its community is and it really suffers or benefits from the network effect that where the more people who actively enjoy the game, who actively play the game, the better the MMO experience is for everyone. So it should be exciting to see new people. It should be exciting to take some time and be like, hey, let me show you how to do this. Or hey, this is your first time in the dungeon. Let me tell you how the mechanics work. And that's just a feeling that Final Fantasy has given me that a lot of other games haven't been able to in a long time. So that's part of it. And I mean, this, YouTube, you know, the people on YouTube, the people in the comments, like, look at any of my videos and look at the comments, they go out of their way to write paragraphs about what I should be doing, about what new players should be doing. They're actively trying to help new people, and it shows everywhere. And the amount of, like, toxicity compared to a lot of other comments I've gotten on videos, a lot of other, you know, players I've seen in games, I mean, it's there. It, it, it's for sure there. It's, we're playing an MMO, it's online, it's the internet, there's bad people, but it's such a smaller fraction of the people and it's it's such an exciting thing to join. So that, that was a part of the reason. The other reason, okay, well, the, the easy reason is the economical part. Um, hey, I'm, I'm gonna buy the game, I need to buy the base copy with my, my sub will start, and then I would need to buy all the expansions or I just buy Shadowbringers and that includes all the expansions and I have the full meal deal. I think that's a lot more exciting to know is that you're you're up to up to snuff. Um, it'd be like playing World of Warcraft and not having the the top expansion, which is fine. 
but it, it's just nice to know that you're playing, you know, the retail full experience, right? So that's that's one of the reasons I decided to buy Shadowbringers. That's definitely part of it. But the, the final one, and I think the one that's going to be the hardest for me to describe, is that I think Final Fantasy XIV is truly in its its prime right now. It's in its hype period, whereas a lot of games have passed that point. And I'm going to make some examples. Uh, let's look. I, I always talk about Maple Story, and some people know it, some people don't. But Maple Story was in its prime when I started playing it in you know 2005 or 2006, before the pre pre Big Bang. It was in its prime and coming back today it's still fun it's still nostalgic but nothing recaptures the essence of what that game had when it had grown and it was just growing continuously and improving itself and after that it's had some ups and downs but it's never catch caught it again um, let's look at runescape or, or old school runescape i guess but like back when that was just runescape so once again around that same time frame um, a lot of my friends in high school were playing it and saying like this is such a big game it's so cool and I, I wasn't a part of that one and going back to old school RuneScape now it's cool it's exciting that you can relive it but it's nothing compared to of being you know being a part of the movement when it happened World of Warcraft you look at vanilla Burning Crusade Lich King Lich King, in my mind, is kind of where we are in the Final Fantasy world, where you know the hype is huge, the the prime. It's like it's prime time. It's it's super exciting. The growth has been steady, and we are really contenders in the MMO world now. And I I joined at the end of Lich King, so I got to be a part of it. But the amount of excitement in the game, the amount of freshness, the the feeling that you had playing it. There's once again been some moments that have felt like that in WoW, but it's been a lot of up and down, and it, it, I think we've clearly passed the prime of WoW. No one knows, obviously, what Classic's going to bring and what the whole future of that game looks like, but it, it certainly feels like, you know, I wish I had been there for the rest of Burning Crusade, for the rest of the Lich King, to, to enjoy more of that prime period. So this has been a really long-winded example of where I think we are in Final Fantasy XIV. I think this game is in the hype. It's in its prime. I'm super excited to see where it goes. I don't I don't know if it's peaked. I it could have, you know, another three expansions after this that are even bigger. No one knows that for sure. But I'd hate to miss out on a game that is ready to deliver. An MMO that, you know, people are gonna be like, hey, you should have played during Shadowbringers. That's the feeling right there when you're in chat and you're like, oh, the game's so good right now. And they're like, oh, you should have played during Lich King or you should have played during Shadowbringers. I don't want to miss that. A fear of missing out of an expansion, you know? That, that's, that's what this is. And I'm just excited to journey into it. And I'm sure people in, you know, who will leave comments can give you much better examples as to why you should try out this game, as to why this is a great expansion to be a part of. And, and that's, I guess that's a, that's, I, I'm going to give you a fourth example. <laughs> Expansions are the absolute best time to join a game. You know, look at any, any MMO. Expansions are the perfect time because, you know, there's a bit of reset that hits everyone. Sure, they still have characters that are high level, like they have alts and all that. They, they have their resources, but it's the knowledge of the new content, the new features, the new dungeons, the new raids. That's something that even existing players aren't really going to have. So as a new player, when you sort of work your way into that wave of new players that are experiencing the expansion's content for the first time together, there's, there's a certain amount of bonding that you just can't achieve at any other point in an MMO cycle. It, it's such an important thing to try and join during an expansion. And, and that's really when I came back to World of Warcraft for the battle, you know, BFA expansion launch. I, I definitely felt very integrated into the community. Like, that was certainly not any of the problems I had with the expansion. And to be honest, I, I still play the expansion quite regularly. Like, this is not me saying, hey, Final Fantasy XIV is better than WoW. That's, that's not what this is. I play both games. I've got my hands in both the cookie jars, and I like both of them. I mean, I make content for both of them. I just, it's, 
it was time to give this game a full go, and that's what I'm doing. So you guys can expect a lot of Final Fantasy XIV content from me. Um, I'm definitely progressing, I think, all the way to the max level on my, on my initial character, and then in branching out to different classes and seeing everything the game has to offer. Um, there will obviously be more content coming with other games as well, but here we are. So thank you for watching what will probably be the most rambly and like all over the place video I make in a long time. Um, I <laughs> should have jotted down at least a few notes or something, but yeah, there we go. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.